Lots of banter. Racine room, cr- cricket has a lot of spare time and Racine rooms are where a lot of spare times are spent and there are lovely stories coming from this. All right. Shall we move on to other <clears throat> cricket? Yeah, bear, keep bearing in mind with time. We'll, we'd love to quickly summarize what uh, else has been happening with cricket across the rest of the world. Um, yeah. India, so India and England playing that catch-up game that they couldn't complete. So um, that's a series to come up or a game to come up. But New Zealand um, struggling against a newish England or a revamped England team. Um, so England at the moment coming on top. But yeah. uh, I mean, Johnny Bairstow seems to be playing the... Uh, I mean, he's been able to transfer his T20 form into Test cricket, just to sum it up. So he scored some runs heavily. Um, Daryl Mitchell, the New Zealand batter, he's oh. having a purple patch. That's massive runs. Um, to score three centuries back to... I mean, back to back, that's massive. So... Okay. Um, he only batted five times, Vora, yes. Yeah, for three centuries and a fifty, and scored um, four hundred eighty-two runs. Yeah, and um, Johnny West, uh, Brendan McCallum has come out and said, like you know, he wants to make Test cricket sexy, and yeah. I think Johnny Bairstow is in a mission to do that. Um, yeah. I mean, he's just smashing it out of the park. England were six for fifty-five, replying to New Zealand's three twenty-nine. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they took the attack to the New Zealand bowlers and they ended up 269 for six, close of day two. <laughs> and I was just checking the score now. England yeah. uh, all out to 360. Johnny Bairstow ended up 162 of 157. Johnny Bairstow in Test cricket has had a little bit of highs like this, but then his lows were a bit long as well. So unless Brendan McCullum's been able to you know convert it over a course of time we'll see what happens but i think that test match against india might be a good way to you know yeah. gauge where that whether they can you know continue what they're playing but mm. still a refreshing form of cricket to follow um the sri lankan girls are playing against india who are yeah. in uh, sri lanka at the moment so they are up in dambulla a guest of our show Estelle's covering that series so for the followers keep a mm. view on her twitter and the games are um, televised through uh, more you know shown through the papare.com another YouTube, local yeah. channel to follow and watch the cricket the cricket's um, been busy we've been happy with the sri lankan wins yeah, well, the Sri Lankan women's team lost <laughs> the two T20s for us. They played the second T20. Yeah. They're recording yeah. on a Saturday night in Australia. So they well, they scored only 125 in the second T20 batting first. And India yeah. got the runs in the 20th over. Yeah, Chamari got some runs for Sri Lanka. Uh, the 16-year-old Vishmi Gunaratna scored the 45, but... Not enough runs on the board. India is too yeah. strong for us, Vara, yeah. but we've been talking about this for the last year. We haven't played enough cricket. Our girls no. haven't played enough cricket. So the fact that we are playing some cricket is, is good news yeah. for us. So, uh, and playing a team like India is really good news because, mm-hmm. I mean, that's a professional, you know, women's team traveling out to Sri Lanka and playing and I mean, the administrators have to facilitate and work with them to, you know, host a team like that. That's the way they train, what, how they move, what they do is going to, you know, pass on and the Sri Lankan girls are going to see yep. it and understand, okay, this is what it is. The coaches, administrators will also understand, hang on, this is this is what women's cricket is at at yeah. the moment. And the this is how top, and, top teams train and top, top teams, teams do train things. and yeah. whatnot. So it's good for us and hopefully in a year's time we'll be having a good discussion about when the women um, get us a series win and where <laughs> we are, you know, competing with teams. So um, we've already, I mean, 
you, we talked about the six. You talked about a sixteen-year-old scoring forty odd runs. Mm. We had that um, Kavisha Dilhari who scored a few runs in Pakistan. Mm. We know our um, legend Chamari keeps scoring runs, so she's having a bit more assistance now through some of the youngsters mm. coming in. It's heading in the right direction, but it, it's a it's a long long journey. Yeah, it's gonna take some time, but hopefully yeah. we'll have a few more wins under our belt, uh, especially in the Commonwealth Games in England later <laughs> this summer. Yep. Um, I think we talked a lot today. Oh, a lot. Yeah, Pretty excited, I think. Episode, um, we might have to break this into two parts. Um, you might have to. I think we were excited with the one-day series and we yeah. let that go for a while. <clears throat> yeah. I think there are, there are questions and comments we've received from our listeners, especially on Twitter, Bora. We have a yeah. big following on Twitter, especially when the Sri, when Sri Lanka plays a game, um, uh, Sri Lankan cricket Twitter just blows up and, and there are lots of comments and questions. But I think yeah. what we can do is maybe we'll record a separate ep- episode for Q&A, Bora. We said we'll do at least three questions every episode, but sometimes it's very hard to fit um those into an episode because you don't want to talk for long uh, in yeah. a, and bore you so maybe you let's we get carried away sometimes when i know talk. especially when we are winning we do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think let's 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 do a q and a episode just questions and answers from the listeners for us. let's see how it goes we release it during the week or something yeah i'm happy with that just to close mm-hmm. off this episode do you want to run one question maybe pick one and then close it off for today yeah okay uh okay i'll pick this aravinda on twitter great job with the podcast tell us a bit more about yourselves please <laughs> check to your career profiles and the numbers are really good uh, okay That's a beautiful compliment thank you thanks for listening i mean we this podcast is a result of both of us just catching up to catching yeah. up at least once a week to <clears throat> just to have a chat about cricket and that has ended up a podcast and we are doing this for nearly a year now so i mean we talked about our, i mean we don't really want to talk about ourselves i guess they're not not much interesting things happening <laughs> with us but yeah. i mean if you want to listen to how we started playing cricket and how we fell in love with cricket maybe go right down to the feed and listen to our first episode where we talked a bit about ourselves and thanks for going through our uh, profiles and yeah i mean we played at a time where the competition for places even in a club team was really high and uh, that made us to take cricket seriously and um, i mean if you want to play you had to perform so that one reason our numbers are good what do you think for us yeah i uh, i love uh, th- thanks a lot for you know recognizing some of our stats and also listening and your hope and knowing that you're enjoying the show that's a pretty good result for us um tough yeah i mean when you look back at our cricket that's something we can we look back with a lot of um be happy and proud of what we achieve uh, because the stats are pretty good results from in playing against some strong competition um and i think i think we we both shared this on our twitter feeds where uh, kemar roach talks about you know i love <laughs> yeah. my stats i look at my stats in the night um yeah we, we we still i still do that i know with that probably yeah. Yeah. seen and has a look as well because it's um it's good achievements that we manage to do i mean we we've, we've both tried our best to get up the ladder and you know play represent our country but it was mm. a very competitive time um, yeah. but when I, mean, i mean those stats are i mean it was a tough time it was um, the cricket was pretty strong so um, pretty good yeah like this <laughs> i mean you can do everything right and sometimes you need bit of luck as well so yeah but it is what it is it's how um yeah about ourselves we live in australia i i mean bora and i bora moved here first uh, 
now moved here and uh, we live here with our families. I mean, if you, if you go back and listen to that episode, you, 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 yeah, we'll talk. I don't really want to talk about we give it. Ourselves a, we give, give ourselves a bit more of a plug in yeah. our first few episodes than now. So this, that's why we're able to talk about a bit, I mean, our knowledge, we're able to share a bit more. Um, yep. But again, that's uh, how do I say it? I think it's a reflection of how we relate a lot with how we play it and what we share. So it's again, Lots it's a sentiment. Around, yeah, <laughs> sentiment around how we play our cricket. <laughs> Lots of banter. Just in room, uh, we, yeah. cr- cricket has a lot of spare time, and just in rooms are where a lot of spare times are spent. And there are lovely stories coming from those. Or I think we should wrap this up, Bora. Once again, big shout out to our sponsor, Stack Sports Australia. If you let them know that we send you there, you'll get a 10% discount on all your purchases. Yeah, give us give us a like on our social media. And if you have any questions or comments, send them to <laughs> Sri Lankan Cricket Podcast at gmail.com or send a message on our social media. Yeah, thanks a lot for listening. Hope to catch up on the next episode and cover a bit more with the test matches kicking off. See you next week. Yes, guys.